Hi everyone, welcome to module 2.2 entitled Leading with Your Heart, Head, and Courage. To help our society face the water and, challenge, the water and climate challenges of our century, we need impactful leaders. Everyone agrees on that. But what does leadership actually mean? In this module, we will learn that there is not one unique definition of leadership. We'll explore the different types of leadership that exist and help you reflect on your own leadership. When we think of leaders, we think of impactful figures such as Greta Thunberg or Barack Obama. But leadership presents itself in so many different forms and it surrounds us every day. So in this module, we'll ask the following questions. What is leadership and what type of leader are you? So after defining together what leadership is, we'll explore the head, heart and courage model, which will hopefully give you some tools to maximize your leadership impact. To start off this presentation, I would ask you to take out a piece of paper and a pen and write down the names of one or two people that you consider as leaders. So it could be people that you know, people that you don't, people that you're close to or not. You can pause the video here and take a few seconds to think about this. Now I would like to know why you consider these people as leaders. Again, if you need more time to think about this, please pause the video here. And finally, last question, having identified the people that you consider as leaders and having identified the reasons why you consider these people as leaders, I would now like you to reflect on your own definition of leadership. What does this concept mean to you and how would you define it? So as you by now may have figured out, there's not one, there's not one definition of leadership that I can just tell you. Uh, there's not a consensus that exists on how to define leadership. Leadership means different things to different people, and it could also mean different things in different situations. To help us better understand this concept, we will start by identifying what leadership is not. So it is not a person, it is not a quality, it is not power, and it is not management. Leadership is a relationship between two or more people. It's dynamic, it's a phenomenon that is exerted, it's a perception that lies in the eyes of the beholder. You can't be a leader alone in your room, you become a leader when someone else sees you as such. And if someone perceives you as a leader in a given context, it doesn't mean that everyone will. And finally, it is complex. So there are as many different forms of leadership as there are people who practice it, and as there are contexts in which it is practiced. To help us identify the different types of leadership, we will explore the heart, head, and courage model. We will focus on the three main characteristic that, characteristics that distingu distinguish a leader. His intelligence, his ability to evoke emotion, and his strength of character. So for this self-assessment, I'll ask you to take a blank piece of paper and to draw your leadership pie chart. So on this pie chart, try to illustrate how much of in your so in your leadership style, do you lead mostly with your head, your heart, or with courage? And let's say you, you lead mostly with your heart, as the example that's shown here. What percentage would you say the other two components, so head and courage, take in your leadership style? There's no right or wrong answer here, and everyone has their own leadership pie chart. So you can pause the video and take a few minutes to draw your own. Now that you have this pie chart, what does this mean? So if you're a leader that leads mostly with your head, your team will most likely come to you when faced with difficult and complex situations, which may require new and innovative solutions. That said, you do have a blind spot. So if, you're, if you lead mostly with your head, you need to be careful because your blind spot may be related to courage. For example, you will also need courage to take risks. And you will also need heart to inspire your team. People who lead solely with their head have the risk of moving forward alone if they don't make the time to explain their plans to their teammates. Now, if you lead mostly with courage, we need more of people like you in our society because today's society, we are so blinded by our short-term goals that we lack people who lead with courage. 
People who lead with courage know how to get back up after darker periods and are more concerned about the long-term impact of their decisions than the short-term societal pressures. That said, be careful of your blind spots. So people that lead with courage also need their head to be able to analyze data and to be, need to be innovative. They also need their heart to respect their team. And finally, if you lead mostly with your heart, so you might be um, an impactful and transformative leader because leaders who lead mostly with their heart are impactful and transformative leaders. They are the leaders who are best equipped to lead change. That said, you also have a blind spot. You will also need to have a clear plan and strategy. This is why we won't necessarily consider our best friends, all of our best friends as leaders. You will also need courage to face obstacles and the bumpy road ahead. By now, you might have noticed that to be a good leader, you need to find a balance between these three important characteristics. A good leader will lead partially with his heart, his head, and with courage. So some, tea, some key takeaway messages from this presentation. We all exert some type of leadership. I, I hope we've given you some tools to figure out your own style of leadership. We need more impactful, inspiring leaders. And it is the importance to know your blind spots and to establish strategies to face these blind spots. So to know more about these strategies, I invite you to uh, look, have a look at our, at our fact sheet for module 2.2. .2. Thank you so much and I wish you a wonderful day.